Hey guys, we've got a little video together for you. We're down fishing the Ohio River here in Kentucky. We're fishing the backwaters, getting into tributaries off the main water. Uh, it's middle of August. It's just as hot as a firecracker out, and we're still catching crappies. You'll see in the video. I've got my wife with me today. Crappie been picking on me a little bit, so I brought the big guns in with me, and she took care of business. And the way she did that, she had a crappie monster trophy wife jig, pink and chartreuse jig head. That was the bait of the day. We caught the most fish off of it. Uh, we're using spider wire. We've got our jig on the bottom and we've got a hook tied about 18 inches up for a minnow. And this is just eliminating water. It's giving them a, a two for one deal at dinner time. So it's the easiest way to find and catch crappie is to present more than one different type of bait. Attached to that uh, spider wire, of course, we have a Denali Prime light jigging rod and an 11 foot. And you can see from the video, my wife is five foot two and she handles this thing like a champ. Uh, very easy to use. You can feel the doggone minnow when it gets nervous when a crappie comes around, he'll start jittering. And you can feel it through this rod. Attached to that is a Denali 50 reel with one of the best drag systems I've ever seen. You can hear it clicking like a rifle scope and it will stay where that you have it set at. But this is our setup, it's middle of August. Make sure to uh, subscribe to our Crappie Monster channel on YouTube. Like us on Facebook. We'll get you set up with some of the best baits you'll ever find. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the video. And remember, subscribe to Crappie Monster. Thank you. First one in the boat this morning. And right there it is. Trophy wife, buddy. Trophy wife. Straight jig. Didn't even touch the minnow. go guys. I'm going to pull out some mealworms and put on my jig here and see if uh, we've caught one off jig with nothing else on it. Uh, this is just a little atom incentive to try to get some scent on that jig. And there he is, and as soon as he hits that thing, he wrapped me straight around that limb. And guys, stay with it, because sometimes those fish are still on there, and you're not actually hung up. As you'll see here in just a second, we're going to pull this dude out of here and put him in the live well.
there, guys. Right there. That's a trophy wife again. Every Let me do, guys. Let me bluegill. Eat that big old man. That just goes to show you a doggone bluegill is about like a little Jack Russell Terrier. Don't care what it is, how big it is, he's going after that bad boy. I mean, look at the size of that mana. Half long as my hand. What we're doing today, we're jigging the visible stick ups just off the side of the creek channel. We go from about 14 foot of water up to six foot of water and pretty well everything in between, we were catching crappie and bluegill as you can see. If you look right there on my Simrad GPS, you can see the Ohio River is in the picture there and we're off on one of the backwaters one of the tributaries a small creek that runs into it this time of year if you can find a little bit of depth of water you'll be able to find them things inside them tributaries Little bitty dude, but they're still fun to catch. And that's a wrap, guys. We're heading on out. Uh, we appreciate y'all being in here with us and tuning in. Uh, check out Crappie Monster on YouTube, and we'll see if we can get you some more videos. Thanks, guys.